welcome to the madness what's up you guys it's me Aaliyah, and welcome to or welcome back to my channel hi how are you doing today i'm back at it again with yet another hair video are you tired of them because i'm not that's why i'm doing this one you read the title today i'm going to be doing trying mini twists for the first time on my curly hair and if you've watched one of my previous videos aka trying new curly hairstyles for a week you might be questioning Aaliyah, what are you talking about you've already done mini twists on your hair it turns out the way i did those twists in the video was a little bit wrong i skipped a couple steps when it came to the hairstyle so today i'm here trying the full length tutorial. It's a form of protective style that you could do on your curly hair that literally just twists your hair up and you could just leave it. It's like braids except twists and it doesn't take eight hours. So that's what we're doing today. So the shampoo condition I'm going to be using today for to uh, uh, prep my hair is the Carol Daughters Wash Day Delight Water to Foam Shampoo with Aloe. This stuff is actually really freaking amazing. I say for the amount that you get and the brand top tier. Now this was before I found out uh, Carol's Daughter is in black on. So I don't think I bought this recently because I got it a long time ago. Actually in the week that I was filming my trying new curly hairstyles for a week video. So now I'm going to be using the Miel Organics Moisturizing and Detangler Conditioner, a part of her pomegranate and honey line. This stuff is amazing. It smells good. It feels good. The slip there. So let's go ahead and head to the bathroom and start washing my hair in the tub. So, oh, I look busted. I'm in the bathroom and I currently have my hair in like a puff sort of thing. For some reason, every time I go to wash my hair, I always leave something in my hair, whether it's a bobby pin or a scrunchie. Every time I go to wash my hair, I just always... Where is it? This is what my hair is looking like, and I'm ready to bring it back to life. I think I'm also going to try to trim. No, I'm not trimming my hair in this video. That's a whole different video that I can <laughs> capitalize off of, honey. Now that my hair's down and I look ridiculous, I'm going to go ahead and head over to my bathtub, and you guys are going to watch me wash my hair. I need to deep condition, and it's almost dinner time, so I can deep condition as I eat. And as I wash my hair, I'm also going to be watching Dance Moms, because you already know the vibe. I like a mushroom. I never understood how people can just take their hair out of a bonnet and, like, pick it out and fluff it to its shape, or, like, a hair tie. And I'm sitting here like, I look like this. How do you do that? Is it witchcraft? It has to be. 45 minutes to get all dressed up. Now I will send a partition. Y'all already know the vibe. I just realized that it's hard time this wasn't recorded. Oh my God, that's so embarrassing. A few inches later. I just rinsed the conditioner out of my hair and for the hair mask today because my cookout just got here, we about to feast. Yes! Yes! I'm gonna be using the Miel Organics Rosemary Mint Strengthening Hair Mask infused with biotin and encourages hair growth because baby, hair ain't gonna grow itself. It needs some extra work. Door closing was my sister, so for all the ghost comments that are gonna roll in, um, no. Nice try though. So I'm just gonna be taking this and putting it all throughout my hair. My hair is fully coated in the mask. I'm just gonna go ahead and tie it in the back of my head in a tiny little bun very quickly. And then I'm gonna be putting on a plastic cap so the heat gets trapped in my head and it makes the mask work even better. And I don't wanna have a mask dripping into my cookout because that's disgusting. So this is what we're looking like right now. I'm probably still gonna keep this towel on my shoulders just so you know I don't get all wet. New shirt. Don't want to ruin it. So I'm about to go ahead and go eat and I will catch you guys probably when I'm eating because you know, little mini mook mook. You guys always ask me what I'm eating during quarantine and now it's time to show you. I have mask up under my nails and I'm eating finger food. Time to wash my hands. 20 seconds, ladies. From cookout, I got an Oreo milkshake because cookout has the best milkshakes and all the fast food chains don't at me. I got double chicken nuggets and then I got two chili cheese hot dogs. I never had them before, but I'm getting tired of the bacon cheeseburger and the quesadillas. So I'm trying to switch it up. So now we're about to eat and watch YouTube because everybody just seems to be problematic. I got to catch up on the YouTube drama. p.m. I was supposed to take this mask out over an hour ago, but I got so wrapped up in eating and talking to my friend. I had some great news told to me today. I feel amazing. Did I waste a lot of time with filming? Yes. But is it for a good cause because my hair is about to be strong? Even more, e even more benefits. That's what I'm saying. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out. Can you come out, please? Thanks. Oh, it's not. Oh, oh. 
She's tangled, hold on. Why is the, hold on, my color grading is messed up. I fixed it, we're not pink anymore. I'm going to go ahead and rinse this out of my head. I actually finger tangled my hair off camera. Let's go ahead and rinse this out in my sink because I don't feel like breaking my back and neck in the tub again because it's just too much for me. And then we're gonna go ahead and get started on the blow drying process. I think y'all can see enough with this one. Microfiber towel acquired. just got out of the bathroom from rinsing the mask out of my hair and now it's time for styling products and blow drying now, I'm gonna be treating this how I do my hair after I wash it so that includes adding a leave-in conditioner or styling I need a serious trim <laughs> this side of my hair is so much longer than this side I don't know what happened it all just kind of happened at once but that's not the point first thing I'm going in for my hair I'm gonna be using the Miel white peony leave-in conditioner I'm just gonna be spraying this all over my ends and in my roots so it, my hair can be super moisturized and I'm I'm gonna be adding some scalp treatments to this hairstyle as well so this isn't the first time I'm gonna be moisturizing my hair just in case I missed any spot next I'm gonna be use on my hair is the Carol's Daughter Coil Enhancing Moisture Butter because this is super hydrating my hair so I'm not gonna be taking a lot of this because it is a heavier product and I'm not sure how my hair is going to dry with a blow dryer with this stuff in my hair but we're gonna be using it anyway because this needs to be super moisturized which is the whole point I am doing this oh my god I literally shed so much it makes absolutely no sense on why and that is actually gonna be all the styling products I'll be using today so I'm about to go ahead and do the other side with the same process actually gonna go in with a wide tooth comb and re-detangle my hair because I noticed when I rinse my hair out my hair tends to clump up and get tangled all over again I don't know what it is but thankfully the mask and the products I have in my hair are making it easy for me to detangle today because they just add so much slip and they do such a good job of softening up any knots that I have in my hair my hair is all detangled this is what it's looking like right now not the best my hair has ever looked but hey we're about to fix it in a couple minutes so I'm actually going to go ahead and grab a couple of hair ties because I'm going to blow dry my hair in four sections. I'm going to be using my Diva Curl Diva Dryer. I'm still trying to figure out if I should use this part to help blow dry my hair, but for the first part, I'm probably not going to use it, and I'm just going to be using my Denman brush to kind of just brush through my hair and get my hair as straight as possible with the blow dryer. First section done and all this is telling me is that I need a trim bad let me know if you guys would want me to do a video where I attempt to trim my curly hair for the first time at home by myself because I've never done it this is what this side of my hair is looking like who would have thought Aaliyah had this much hair so on to the next section we go look like I just got electrocuted with electricity. I'm a little shocked by myself. I didn't even know I had this much hair. I really, really, really need a trim. Oh my God. I made a slushy out of Minute Maid Lemonade today. And it's really good. She's really good. my hair was this big at all times. <laughs> Parts of my hair is still a little wet, so I'm just gonna go over in general and really get at my roots using this little thingamabobber thingy. And then we're going to start twisting. I haven't seen my hair blown out in I think almost a year like it's a little it's a little fluff this next part is going to be a little tricky because I think for the mini twist I'm gonna start doing it in the back of my hair first so I think I'm gonna do this side 
first. I'm gonna leave about this much hair out towards the back because I feel like that's a lot to work with, but it manageable amount. So the way I'm gonna be doing this, I'm gonna try my best to show this in a way that makes sense. So let me just comb it out with this. I'm actually gonna split this section into two sections. I'm going to be taking a little bit of this Eco Professional styling gel and putting it towards the root just so it'll be slicked down and looking real nice. It doesn't make my hair curl up because if it does, that would have been a big waste of time. So, and then I'm just gonna start twisting as tight as I can at the root and then work my way down adding a little gel in the process so it stays slick and together one thing I do notice is that towards the end of my hair it tends to fall out of the curl and doesn't really stay so hopefully as this goes on I can just you know retwist it and get it back in order and then I'm gonna do the same thing for this piece first two twists done right here they're pretty long pretty straight love the way this one came out so I'm gonna put more hair in them so they'll be about this side okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing that I did for the other two except I think I can turn this into three another twist done I really like the way this one came out I think I'm gonna be able to do two more sections y'all I'm probably doing so many things wrong you guys who've done this like thousands of times are probably yelling at me in the comments down below talking about some oh my god no you did this wrong oh my god no you did this wrong don't use this don't do that oh my god I'm trying guys I'm trying I am happy to say that half of my twists are done. This is what they're currently looking like. They're not the best, but they're a hundred times better than the ones I did last time because these are actually thicker overall. Look, after I finished this section, I went ahead with the Garnier Fructis Curl Construct Creation Mousse just to, you know, make sure everything is slicked down and everything. My parting at the top of my head, it may not be the best, but I feel like for starters, it's okay. So yeah, this is what half of my twists are looking like as of right now. Super shiny, super glossy and I really love the way they look and they're very lightweight they don't feel weighed down at all and they feel hella 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 moisturized so I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this side of my hair twist and honestly I like this side better already but you know what we're not we're not even gonna get into it I'm kind of proud of myself not gonna lie go ahead and apply some mousse to the other side just to make sure everything stays in place. So as you guys can see, I went with a more middle part. It just gives me the freedom and flexibility to do whatever with my hair. I went ahead and pulled out some of my edges as I was braiding because I just felt like it was gonna be easier doing that. The thing I wanted to do last for this hairstyle was actually add some hair serum to my scalp. So I'm gonna be using the Mio Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil Infused with Biotin. I'm gonna be using the Miel Moisture Hawaiian Ginger Moisturizing Scalp Treatment just to make sure my scalp is not dry. And I'm just gonna be spraying it all over the scalp. Should I have done this as I was twisting? Potentially, but we didn't. We're doing it now. Better late than never. So this is the completed product of me doing mini twists with the blow drying method for the first time ever. I actually really like how these came out better than when I was doing my hair curly. I really like this method. Does it take a little bit longer? Yeah, but I feel like it's worth it. It's like this is a really good protective spot style, especially in quarantine if you can't get to your regular hair braider. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and let me know any other hairstyles you guys want me to do. And if you haven't already, make sure you check out my video where I actually did these for the first amateur time and my trying new curly hairstyles for a week video, which will be linked down below. If you guys like the video, please give it a huge thumbs up down below and right on there. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification and hit all notifications that are personalized because YouTube has been playing. So make sure you guys check in on my channel every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to make sure that you guys aren't missing an upload because the notifications be playing. If you guys want to see me more behind the scenes and off camera, make sure you follow 
follow me on social medias that includes my instagrams twitter and spotify and other social medias that'll be linked down below in the description for your leisure so you don't have to go searching <laughs> all that being said thank you guys so much again for watching today's video and i can't wait to see you guys in the next one stay cool see you monday bye guys